Welcome to Dermcast. My name is Janelle, and I'm here with Dr. Maria Hordinsky. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. Dr. Hordinsky is here with the National Alopecia Areata Foundation. Correct. And she's going to give us um, sort of a quick 101 on alopecia. My guess is that many PAs have seen alopecia areata and recognize it because it's really easy to diagnose and relatively easy to treat when the disease presents itself as circles of patchy, non-scarring hair loss that can affect any area of the body. So the patches could, could occur on the scalp, in the eyebrow regions, the eyelash regions, underarm hair, body hair. Sometimes the nails are affected as well, with the nails showing some grooving or pitting in them, and rarely some shedding. But occasionally, some people go on to lose all of their hair and present with extensive body hair loss called alopecia totalis or universalis. So I think it's a disease, my guess is, that many PAs have seen and recognized. And the real challenge is what to do with the disease. How do you treat it? And how do you treat it? When the disease is patchy, it can be really easy. Sometimes you don't have to do anything because the disease goes away by itself. But many times we'll use topical steroids or inject steroids to stop the patches from getting bigger. When the disease is extensive, it's very challenging because one has to really weigh the risks and benefits of the treatments available. So we step back, take a good hard look at the situation, and figure out just how aggressive we're going to be. Wonderful. Now, would you have any parting words as how... Um, Derm PAs in, in, um, specifically could better serve patients with alopecia? Once a patient decides to undergo treatment, they may be in the system, medically speaking, for many, many years. And so, for example, a very common treatment and an effective treatment can be the use of intralesional steroid injections. And those injections have to be done every four to six weeks in, for many people in order to maintain the clinical response. And I think that's an example of where there could be a partnership with the PA where there's that teamwork in seeing patients together, maintaining the disease, keeping it under control, and being there for the patient when the disease becomes more active and being there with them too to celebrate when the disease is not active and everything is, is fine and the patient is healthy. Excellent. That's very helpful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Doctor. You're welcome.